What is on your heart to say to the American people as we have 47 days um, until November 5th? What's on your heart? We, to say to particularly those people who are still uh, undecided or maybe indifferent or on the fence still? We love our country. I love our country. I know we all do. That's why everybody's here right now. We love our country. We, we take pride in the privilege of being American. And this is a moment where we can and must come together as Americans, understanding we have so much more in common than what separates us. How many times she going to say that? She said that three other times, it seems like, in this very same rally. I'm just now making it to the end of this because this thing is just so miserable. It, it, is, it is the biggest shit show that I've seen in a long time. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, tap into the Patreon, link is in the description. T. Chanley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. And then get your tickets to the live shows. Atlanta, and then Detroit. Links is in the description, man. Let's rock, bro. Let's get to this miserable, miserable time. Maybe she can convince us. I'm looking to be convinced. <laughs> I'm looking to be convinced to vote for her. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic people. Mm. We are an optimistic people. Americans, by character, are people who have dreams. and What do y'all think that Oprah is thinking when she's looking at Kamala Harris before we get to the Americans have dreams and hopes? What, what do y'all think that Oprah is thinking? While she's looking at... <laughs> when she's looking at Kamala Harris, make her speech and make her pitch to people. Right after they had all of these celebrities on there, Meryl Streep and, and uh, Tracy Ellis Ross, because celebrities ain't going to put no groceries in your grocery cart. Celebrities ain't going to catch your rent up when you're about to get foreclosed on. Celebrities can't help you when your car is getting repossessed. C celebrities can't help you when migrants start to take over your neighborhood. Optimism and hope and joy it's not going to put no gas in your gas tank or no food on your table. or It's not going to stop you from getting laid off. It's not. What do you think that Oprah is thinking right now? Let's, let's hear the whole speech out, and then we're going to come back and give our reaction. By character are people who have dreams and ambitions and aspirations. We believe in what is possible. We believe in what can be. And we believe in fighting for that. That's how, that's how we came into being. She's free. Because the people before us understood that one of the greatest expressions for the love of our country, one of the greatest expressions of patriotism <laughs> what? is to fight for the ideals of who we are, which includes freedom what? to make decisions about your own body, freedom to be safe from gun violence. Everybody in the office. To have look, look at Oprah. Look at the, everybody in the office in, in, in the audience has to be absolutely mind fucked and confused about what's happening right now. This is to the ballot box. Freedom to be who you are and just be, to love who you love openly and with pride. Freedom to You know who she's just to, right? Be. What? Mm. And that's <laughs> Who we are. We believe in all that. Oprah hit over so this is a on. moment. <laughs> Yo, I think I, Oprah don't even agree with this. I believe that Oprah is aligning with this because it got to be some favors or something like that. Oprah with her with the, hit her with the, mm. Check this out. B. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta just be, y'all. Like the Common Album. Y'all ever seen Common's, Common Album B? Like the Common Album. We just gonna be. Just be. 
Hmm. And that's who we are. We believe in all that. And so this is a moment where we stand knowing what we are fighting for. We're not fighting against. She got to be drunk. It's what we're fighting for. Thank you. Thank you. If y'all vote this woman in office, Lord have mercy. God have mercy on our soul in the United States of America. If y'all vote this woman in office who seems to not have a brain but has air inserted into it. If y'all vote this woman in office, Oprah Winfrey is throwing. We didn't even like Oprah just a second ago. Y'all was just killing her over Taraji B. Henson, but that's a whole other conversation. Y'all was just mad at her for Hawaii, but then now y'all showing up because y'all love her. Let me talk to my ladies for a second before we conclude this. Let me talk to my ladies for a second. Do y'all really think that this is a good idea? In your heart, in your soul, down in you. You know how y'all say y'all got that women's intuition or that God speaks to you? Do you, do you, like when you hear this and you look at her in real time, not edited, not modified, straight up what it is and, and how it's going to be. When you see this, do you think presidential? That Oprah, who used to be great friends with Trump, even to the point to where he said that she would be his vice president, vice presidential candidate. Do you believe in your heart and your soul that this is the right person for the job to stand up to some of the most unforgiving people in the world? And world leaders, and world leaders who don't care about what you feel or what you think, in your heart, in your soul, and you go to the ballot box, and you say, Kamala Harris, check, filling it out, inserting it into the machine, does this make sense for you? It. Let me answer the question for you, it don't. It never has, it never will, she, she should not even be up on that stage. She should not even be on that stage. Joe Biden looks as though he's showing early signs of dementia. Kamala Harris just looks like she belonged in a Clueless movie. It is unfathomable for us to even think that this makes sense in voting her into office. Unreal. By no stretch of the imagination is this a real thing that we see happening and playing out right now. But we here. We here. God bless America. Let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We got to win this election, y'all. We got to win this election.